scavengers are not the first thing that come to mind when considering the beauty of nature. However, scavengers eliminate corpses from the environment by eating them, known as carrion. This is a crucial function that extends far beyond natural aesthetics. Vultures skip the exercise of chasing and killing an animal. Instead, they wait for someone else to do the hard work, and once they leave, they move in to consume the carcass. So, the real question is, why are they scavengers? Are they incapable of hunting and attacking an animal? The fearsome-looking vulture is often regarded by people as a nuisance or omen of death. Still, the birds are actually an integral part of the natural ecosystem by opportunistically feeding on whatever remains from other animals' kills. These scavenger birds clean up dead animal matter from the environment that may contain harmful microbes and diseases. Due to human activity, however, many species are in steep decline worldwide which may encourage the spread of diseases. Vultures are highly specialized birds that thrive on eating dead animals. This is because their biological structure, physical features, and skill set enable them to devour carcasses. In addition, they have a knack for locating deceased animals by either smell or sight. Vultures' mouths and huge intestines are loaded with bacteria that would make most other animals ill. Still, these birds have developed a solid stomach to keep them from becoming sick whenever eating rotting meat. Bacteria emit poisonous compounds when a corpse decomposes, making the carcass a dangerous diet for most animals. On the other hand, vultures frequently wait for rot to set in before attacking dead animals with thick skins. Furthermore, vultures may frequently pick at a deceased animal's anus to obtain the inner contents. Vultures may eat toxic bacteria and rotten excrement, but they appear immune to these harmful microorganisms. A vulture's digestive tract can easily handle bubonic plague, rabies, distemper, anthrax, and other evil, little, biological nasties that threaten other forms of life on Earth. It's all good to them. How can they do this? It's complex, but basically, their digestive tract has two tools it uses. One is a very low pH in their digestive juices. It is so corrosive that if a vulture eats meat that contains lead bullets, it will dissolve the lead and give the vulture lead poisoning. That is their Achilles heel. A poisoned vulture usually means lead poisoning and is one of the biggest threats to vultures. Of course, lead bullets are an artificial invention. So, once again, Hooray for humanity for finding a way to poison the unpoisonable. But besides that, up to 60% of toxic bacteria is simply dissolved. The other tool that vultures have is the remaining 40% of harmful bacteria that isn't destroyed just hangs out in a vulture's gut, doing nothing. Vultures are cool with that. No biggie. It's gotta be pretty frustrating for the toxic microorganisms, which are used to getting their way but vultures are simply not affected. They have a few more traits that aid them in their endeavor. You've undoubtedly heard that they don't have feathers on their heads, so they can easily poke their heads into the dead animal without fear of getting their plumage soiled. That way, they remain clean. Vultures are scavengers because, like all organisms, they also have a role to play in the natural ecosystem. In addition, they are some of nature's most efficient garbage recyclers. As a result, they are beneficial to the environment in general. Vultures are frequently seen near settlements because people generate a steady and consistent food supply. Garbage, roadkill, and animal rearing are excellent food sources for vultures. Our roadways would be filled with carcasses if vultures didn't exist. They use a variety of talents to scan the environment for food after reaching operating height. They have excellent vision that helps them spot dead animals from miles away. When a potential meal is discovered by odor or sight, the bird flies in smaller, lower circles until it receives either scent or visual confirmation of the food. Thus, even though everything appears in order, it doesn't immediately start feasting. Carnivores that kill prey follow a set pattern. They kill, eat till they are full, and go to sleep, but sleep close enough to keep thieves at bay. As a result, vultures are hesitant, 
and take their time hovering, examining, and sniffing the meal. There are a few of the essential skill sets that a vulture possesses for them to be scavengers. They are highly efficient flyers, covering great distances with minimal muscular and respiratory exertion. Their minds are designed to adjust to the location of their wings, even specific flying feathers, to provide the most lift with the least amount of muscular activity. Turkey vultures start circling in the distance when they sense food. That alerts the other vultures to the possibility of a meal underneath their distant companion. This frequently leads to a spiraling formation of two or more vultures orbiting over the potential food source. Unlike most birds, turkey vultures have exceptional sniffing ability. This allows them to locate a reasonably fresh body, even when it is hidden from above by foliage. Then, after discovering it, they make sure that whatever killed it isn't ready to murder any freeloaders when they smell something. All of this is done by committing to the most common vulture flying pattern, which involves vultures orbiting in what are known as gyres. When the bird is seeking, these rings broaden and rise. When food is detected, they tighten and fall. Before we see if vultures can be good predators, we must understand the difference between the two. Predators are animals that chase and kill other animals, also known as their prey, to consume them. On the other hand, scavengers are animals that feed on dead animals. These animals can be killed by other animals, humans, or other causes. Almost all predatory scavengers larger than insects will hunt if not enough carcasses are present. Unfortunately, only a few environments supply enough animal carcasses all the time to keep scavengers satisfied. That being said, just because they can kill animals does not mean they can kill any animal. Their body's abilities still limit them in many ways. Generally, vultures locate an animal that has been killed by a predator or by humans. They are not built the same way as natural predators in speed and talons. While there are instances where they can become predators, their skill sets provide a few reservations. First, when they are distressed by winter starvation, they will occasionally murder small animals. Vultures may also kill animals that are injured or sick. In short, situations that do not require intense chasing or battling with live animals. Needless to say, vultures do not hunt for food like hawks or eagles do. Their abilities are focused on discovering rather than killing. Therefore, despite playing a vital role in the ecosystem, they will not make good predators. They are better suited as scavengers. Long, large, pointed, and powerful beaks. They use them to dismember huge dead creatures such as wolves, lions, and elephants. But unfortunately, a great beak is not enough for the bird to become a good predator. A vulture can't hunt live prey because they would have to use their feet for that purpose, which is impossible because of how long their talons are built. That is something that isn't going to happen. While vultures are famous for their sense of sight and smell, they are not the fastest animals. Speed is an essential element needed for becoming a good predator. However, there are rare cases when you can pounce on animals depending on their absent-mindedness. Predators need not be the fastest, but they need enough speed to catch the animals they prey on. Vultures are relatively slow birds with a speed of 35 kilometers per hour. Fortunately, they are animals that do not depend on speed. A vulture's diet is instead dependent on searching and discovering food. They are said to fly for long periods, covering large distances like 150 kilometers away from their nesting site. This aids their scavenging lifestyle and does not limit them to the animals they can feed on. Before we end this video, we want to introduce you to a very interesting channel with content that covers a wide range of topics, including wildlife. The channel is called Facts Archive, and we suggest you subscribe to it because it creates quality content. We will leave a link to this channel in the description. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.